very good morning i'm shanti welcome back to your three and then third day of your godly blessing where god is trying to teach us that how we can be stable and how we can be someone who actually portrays everything which god has taught us so let's see what does baba have to say in today's blessing <music> Baba says, "May you be an experienced image, and reveal the image of the Father and the Teacher with your own image. So, experience can come only through experiences of life, provided we have the knowledge and the wisdom, and we have taken the right path. And the experience of choosing the right path is there with us. So, with the right path, the right karmas are done. So, let's see what is our experience here." Baba says to stay in your real position is the pilgrimage of remembrance. So the real position is I am a soul, not this body. So soul consciousness means heaven on earth. Body consciousness we get distributed. We the disparity amongst human beings. Body consciousness brings that. So we are creating hell on earth. So God says when you are soul conscious, your life becomes heaven. So stay in your real position. That is the real position. Soul consciousness is the pilgrimage of remembrance. So when you remember that you are a soul, automatically you remember the supreme soul. If you remember your surname, you remember your physical father. If you remember where your what position or post you are in, then you will understand that yes, it was all given by my parents who made me learn things, who sent me to school and other things. It's all because of my parents, right? But if your if your father is a minister, you will realize that you are a minister's son. If your father is in the armed forces, you realize you are an armed forces child. If your father is an engineer, you realize that you are you are from the engineering background. So God says similarly over here <coughs> that if you remember who you are originally, then you remember who your creator is. So if you are originally soul conscious, the automatically God comes to our mind. So Baba says remain stable in knowing what you are and who you belong to, what you are and who you belong to, and with this real form of faith. and with your awareness of victory many times you will constantly continue to move along in the waves of the ocean of your intoxication or intoxicated stage so when we are soul conscious our karmas are pure we try to be more refined we don't have any disparities in our mind we are more peaceful and that's where we have the intoxication of the peace and the love and the happiness which god has given us through this soul conscious knowledge then god says so continue to move along in the waves of the ocean of your intoxicated stage since you are the children of the bestower of happiness god is a bestower of happiness and remover of sorrow when people say god gives you happiness and also sorrow god says no i give you only happiness with the knowledge you bring sorrow in your life with your karmas that's not my fault then god says how can waves of sorrow come to you then how can the children of the almighty authority be powerless powerless means if i'm soul conscious i remember my powers i have automatically the power to tolerate the power to face things and situation but if i'm body consciousness in body consciousness my thoughts are of body consciousness then automatically i get irritated i become sad or go into remorse or get into the form of revenge that is because of body consciousness so god says when you're soul conscious when you remember who you are and whom you belong to automatically your karmas are refined and you have strength within you so baba says stay in the experience of this position this position of soul consciousness and the father and the teacher's image will automatically be revealed through you your image so when we are soul conscious automatically people who come in front of us they also feel relaxed and they also feel peaceful and that's the time they realize that you are allah's child or your god's child or you have peace within you which has been bestowed upon you obviously by god himself so you become an image of god now how do you become an image of god is what we learn at brahma kumaris and it's a slow process not a one day process i hope you come and learn that to the nearest center next to you at brahma kumaris godly spiritual university have a blessed day om shanti